Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Zyl 1946 Iron Man series of the Soviet Union. We have finally made it to the next sub-campaign, this Russian career. And uh, it's going to be on the same map. I was hoping it'd be a different map, but it's going to be the same map with different front lines. And about eight months or so later than the last campaign. We are at the end of 1942. The tide is definitely turning in the favor of the Soviets. The Battle of Stalingrad is ongoing as we speak. And the German Sixth Army is currently encircled. But, uh, let's get to reading. A little, little backstory here, a little forward to this campaign. After the difficult winter battles of early 1942, the Central Front before Moscow remained quiet during the summer. The Germans threw all their forces in the advance in the, of the south okay, grammar, while we were gaining strength. The front line gave us the opportunity to try a pincer operation southward from the bulge at Ryziv in an attempt to isolate most of the German forces on the Moscow front. Much of the same like our comrades in the south did at Stalingrad. The German Luftwaffe in this area has fielded a new fighter, the Focke-Wulf 190. We still have not much experience against this type, but I am sure our new planes and tactics are up to this challenge. I say that as I will be flying an I-16 I again. There are also reports of Spanish pilots flying for the Luftwaffe's Molder squadron in this sector. In in order for our offensive to succeed, the VVS must wrestle air superiority from the Germans and enable our troops to operate without a threat from German bombers. Alright, it looks like we're going to be doing a combat air patrol mission in which we will be defending against German attacks. We're going to be going up in our I-16s again, except this time we may see FW-190s, which is definitely out of our league. But, I mean, wouldn't that be something, getting a kill on a 190 and an I-16? That's kind of crazy. Who knows, it might happen here. But uh, without further ado, I'll catch you guys up and we're at the action. Alright, we just got a call out. There are fighters 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock of whom, I'm unsure of. But it definitely isn't my 9 o'clock, because I don't see anything over here. Definitely not a fan of these clouds. We could get bounced pretty easily up here. Let's see if we can get above the clouds. Wait, what? I don't think he's talking about me. Alright, something's happening somewhere. I'm guessing it's still a bit in front of us. Oh, oh, okay. Got visual contact on the enemy here. Now, what kind of fighters are we dealing with here? They look like one of the mines to me. Looks like we have a numbers advantage here. Not a plan of fighting into the sun here. Oh, jeez, we already lost the man. 
I don't think he's from our squadron because it didn't look like an I-16. It's still not great. how this is going to play out here. Is that an enemy? Whoa, okay. Don't want that guy coming out of nowhere to bounce me. Uh, where'd all the friends go? <laughs> I don't like this. Where are my friends at? <laughs> See you there. Okay, there's actually a lot more fighters than I thought. Oh, this guy wants to play. Does his friend want to play? That's the thing. I gotta be very careful about what I'm doing here. Yep. That's why. Okay, this is not... No, no, we're not playing this game. Uh, hello? Well, that's how that's gonna happen. Alright, so that was not the best play. But, uh, yeah. This is definitely... Okay, whoa, jeez. There are at least eight enemy fighters here. I think, uh, definitely got a little too involved here before I knew the full scope of the situation. Yeah, okay, there were a lot more enemy planes than I thought there were. Okay, there's still I-16s that haven't even made it to the location. But I will make you suffer through this. So I'll, I'll see you at the, the debrief screen. All right, so we're at the debrief here. Yeah, we definitely got slaughtered this time. Absolutely obliterated. We lost 10 planes to their zero. Lost two pilots. Just 109 F4s. I, I did change the degen config a little bit to make this a bit more challenging. I upped the enemy AI a bit. But dang, I didn't know bumping up one notch was going to turn this into a slaughter fest. But if that's how it's going to be, we're going to have to survive through it. But yeah, definitely a bit uneventful. And I got shot down before anything could brew there. It's kind of like our entire squadron got shot down and then I was just alone against 4109s, which is never going to end well in an I-16. Even though you can evade them. For a good while. But yeah, off to a great start in the new sub campaign here. But, uh, let's see what we'll be waiting for us in the next mission. Okay, so it's going to be a ground attack mission. Can't get shot down on this mission or I'll get captured. So there's going to be a lot more risk involved here. But yeah. Hmm.
Hopefully I'll be able to keep up the uploads during my internship. But uh, I wouldn't expect three episodes a week. I may, may have to bump it down to two. But I definitely will try to keep regular uploads going. But aside from that, thanks for joining me. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.